Hey guys, this is Jay from Thundercat Loft. Thanks for coming to my channel. Located here in Cliffwood, New Jersey. Uh, I'm at a different loft today. Uh, my buddy Jerry is on vacation, so um, I'm here feeding his birds. And um, just about every day I'm coming here. And uh, I don't know how long he's gone, but until he gets back, I'll be here every day. And um, it's a pretty nice setup, as you can see. He's got some construction going on here, but um, some nice big aviaries. Uh, there's his trap. He's got a, um, uh, he puts a, um, like a uh, little cage around it so they get used to the area and they can come in and out as they please and use the trap. So then get real familiar with the trap. It's a pretty good method. Um, but I don't have that yet. Maybe one day I will. Um, you can see he's got a screen so the birds can't get out over his head. Uh, it is a little um, dirty in here. I'm supposed to be the one who cleans it. And uh, it's Mother's Day weekend. I don't have the time. But um, you can see his birds are a little more... Um, <clears throat> you know, on edge than my birds typically are. Uh, they're not used to me. Um, and I know Jerry has, uh, you know, kind of trouble uh, breathing around them, so he tries to stay away from them. So his birds are a little, a little different than mine, but uh, they are lookers. They are some pretty birds he has. Uh, Jerry's uh, flying this section, I think old birds. You know, he couldn't step away from the game completely. He's still in it, but, um, He's got some young birds in here that he's flying. He's got the fancy bird for a dropper. Um, and uh, here's the setup here. You can see the birds can go out as they please or they can come in. Um, he's got a little string that can close this off. Um, let me show you some breeders. You can see he's got a little floor grate in here. Um, I like this setup too. I like the way his doors work. They close right up behind him. But uh, here's the breeders that he's held on to. Um, I don't think he um, kept the birds that... I see the one bird. That's the one bird that I had in my loft that I gave back to him. But I think the other two uh, might be in his other loft. So Jerry's got another loft just down the street that was his father's loft that he still keeps his father's birds and he was racing out of. This is kind of a new loft he has here. And he wasn't sure he was gonna even use it because of his health, but um, I think he's getting better and he's gonna, he's gonna keep these birds. But you can see a lot of caps in here. I was always talking about his caps. You guys get a chance to see his caps. Uh, check that one out, that's a beauty right there. He has a young bird here, a young bird here. I'm not sure, I don't think he's flying them. He might just keep them for old birds next year. Um, or maybe he's flying some young birds, I'm not sure, but I know he's, he's teaming up with me and my birds for uh, young bird season. Um, Cause I have plenty of birds and I need plenty of help. Uh, this is another section of breeders and in here is mostly uh, the colors, you know. So that section was mostly the reds in here, and I think this is more the whites and the blacks. And he was really building a strong team of blacks. I'm not sure if he sold any, but I know that um, he, he held on to quite a few. Um, you can see there's a nice young, young black baby here. And gee, that's a beautiful young baby, I gotta say. Looks pretty nice. For that age, you know, to still be losing uh, hairs on his head, it looks pretty pretty good. Um, we can see, look at all these blacks. One here, one here, one here. There's a black, that, I don't think it's a black. I think that's a different color. Uh, same with this one, it's more of like an ashy black. But here's a black, there's a black up there. Uh, here's another one of those ashy blacks. And here's a black, and there's a white up there. I think he bred that last year. I think that's a 2020 bird. Um, 
But yeah, he he uh, he definitely breeds for the color sometimes. I want to show you um, one bird in particular I saw when I was here yesterday. So I've been feeding him since yesterday. I'm here for another couple days, I think. Um, look at these young birds. Look at the look at the pair he got here. They must be nest mates. Look at them. Completely different. One dun color and and one checker. This looks like a yellow here. Looks like he held on to a yellow. I don't think he was holding on to his yellows, but um, I like this cock. That's a nice cock right there. That was one that I was gonna take if he didn't uh, keep them. Um, so Jerry had quite a few of these birds, and I want to show you what I mean. Here we go. I guess they're called chocolates. He's up there in the corner. This guy. But he had quite a few last year as well. And I gotta say, I had my eyes on them because they were, just the coloring is beautiful. It's like a blue bar. I guess it's a chocolate. I guess this is a chocolate. Hold on guys. It's raining here, I got my raincoat on, but. Uh, see this coloring? Look at this bird. It's like a blue bar with just a little chocolate in it. This is a youngster he bred. I'm not sure who bred him, but uh, he bred a, quite a few, like even nicer, I think last year he had some. They're like blues with some chocolate in them and they just come out gorgeous. Shout out to Jerry Jerry if you watch this, man. Now you know what my favorite is. Um, I mean, I do like them all. I like the blacks. I like a nice blue bar. I like everything. Um, but I do like that color. Um, so these are Jerry's birds. You guys finally get a look inside his loft. I asked him if it was okay if I did a quick video. He was like, yeah, absolutely. You know, he didn't care. Um, I could have done this back when he was selling most of them. And it looks like he's keeping a lot now. But you know how it goes, you end up uh, with too many very quickly. So uh, I'm sure he'll be selling some in the future. And if anyone's interested, uh, you can look back at this video and see what we got going on. Um, see, he's got some nice windows here and go out to the aviary. That's a nice cock right there. I mean, that one looks like a, I think they call those a stencil. It looks like a stencil pigeon right there. That guy up at the top. All right, I don't want to bother Jerry's birds too much. Uh, they seem to get riled up. You know what, this is the cock I thought I was looking at. And it's not. Or maybe it was the other cock. Yeah, it was the other guy. He's pretty nice too, though. Yeah, this was the one I was gonna take back. He was nice. I was gonna take him, but... Um, Jerry kept them, and I'm happy he did. I'm really happy he kept some birds. Go back in this section real quick. See, these are most of the caps and the reds. Here's a nice dark, almost solid red on the wing. And uh, this one as well, pretty dark check right there. So when I'd go home, I'd always drive past Jerry's father's house and I'd always see his, I'd always see these birds, and they looked like solid, red, solid reds to me when I drive by. And I was like, man, I gotta talk to that guy. He's got some nice birds. But uh, you see, we got some babies up here. There we go. That's that's one of the uh, call some guns. But that's like a solid red to me. Like not, uh,
Oh, there's two there. So you see that? That coloring? It's hard to see it with the lighting, but that's a yellow to the right and to the left is what he calls duns but they're uh i think they're they're dark reds i mean uh those i believe are ones that his father flew anything that's a cap jerry told me it's like his father's line uh which are these guys here so uh anyway guys that's my update you got to see jerry's loft um gotta get jerry to watch this video he's saying he's gonna watch them but i don't think he's watch them just yet and um, I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it all right bye bye